Hello, I'm Jess and I'm joined by Nigel Partridge, TPI's Key Account Manager. Welcome, Nigel. Today, Nigel's going to be going over the DC-710 and DC-711 flue gas analyzers, outlining their capabilities, differences and applications. Hopefully, you'll find this interesting and informative. However, if there's something that we miss, please leave us your question in the comments below. And if you do enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe and share with anybody who you think might find it helpful. Hello. Hi. Um, please, could you begin by giving us an overview of the TPI DC-710 and DC-711 flue gas analyzers? What can they check and which gases can they measure? The TPI flue gas analyzers are your traditional flue gas analyzers for uh, your boiler servicing, installations and repair. The DC-710 is our, uh, our current um, bestseller. Strange to the marketplace, it's screenless. It's um, it's got all the traditional technology inside it, but we've made it much easier that we can transfer the information, the raw data, straight to a mobile phone app. Is and that, that via app, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi? That's, that's, that's Bluetooth, so you don't have to have any signal, and we can get all that information onto that app. It's nice, simple, it's colour-coded, you can create reports, GPS tagging to prove where you were, when you did the job, and then email that report out. It's still available with a printer. Yeah. Um, it works on your natural gas, light oil, heavy oil, LPG, HVO, your coal and coke if you're still uh, old school. And um, is the app free? The the app is free. It's available for Android and Apple devices. Okay. It's subscription free, uh -huh. and and any updates just come through as an update when we've added a, a new feature. So if you've had one of these for a couple of years and we add a new feature, everybody gets that update. No one gets left behind. Great. And is that the case for the DC-711 as well? Is that compatible with the app? Uh, yes, the, the DC-711 is a screens unit. This is for a, a more commercial no, commercial marketplace because we can upgrade it in, yeah. with, uh, with NOx and high CO sensors, but also for your multi-engineer uh, housing association or contracting company where they, they still want a screen-based unit, but then they have the ability to transfer the information to the TPI view app should they want to. Does that make it easy to share data transferring to the app? The If it's connected to the app, it's okay. done instantaneously. Mm -hmm. There's there's no complicated buttons of pressing this, pressing that to get to share. Once you've connected to the app, all the information is instantaneously gone over there. Who you want to send that information to as a PDF or a C CSV file, that's up to you. It could be to a single person back at the office. If you're a one band band small business, you might need to send that back to the the uh, the tenant, the letting agent, the homeowner, so that. The key is flexibility. Yeah, so ultimately sharing the information is much easier, much simpler. Say so it's filling out lots of pads, forms, you can just send that information straight away. And because you've always got a copy, if there's any reason to look back at the work that you did months later, you've got an email with your, your copy of the information on it. It makes it much easier to find and prove yeah. Accountability, that it works. Yeah. Accountability, yes. Okay, and so you touched on one of the differences, which is that one has a screen, sorry, one has a screen, one doesn't have a screen. Um, is there, are there any other differences between the two models, please? Realistically, it's just that the DC-711 has extra space inside it, so it has the ability to put NOx sensors in for the commercial marketplace when you have to measure NOx readings, and it has the ability for high CO readings. That's critical for, again, the commercial marketplace or um, and of uh, wood pellet installations, commercial wood pellet installations, where they're using that as a fuel, uh, they can be tricky to set up. So it's safe room in the sensors, and we don't, and we, we make them slightly larger so they're really easy to work on for calibration servicing. And they should be calibrated every year. Legislation states they have to be calibrated every year, which uh, um, we've made easy to do with the space that's inside there. And please get in touch because our calibration team can help you with that. So. You've mentioned that the data is displayed on the app. It's also displayed on the screen for the DC-711? Yeah, the DC-711 will be bought to two versions. It'll either be bought with, they don't want connection to the app, they're just going to use it as a standard flow gas analyzer, look at the screen, mm -hmm. and 
write down or incorporate the readings in their software but at the touch of a button you can switch the app on and have the information transferred to the, the app instead and then you're just looking at your mobile or your tablet screen instead. And is it all colour coded on there as well? Is it displayed as it would be on the app on the screen? Or is it slightly different? On the, on the screen it's, um, it's grayscale, nice okay. and clear with backlit. Your mobile phone tablet obviously uh, full colour. Yeah. And then colour coded readings, so green for good, amber for not good, red for really, really bad and better do something about it. Quickly. So could you discuss the advantages of having a screen versus the advantages of not having a screen and who would you recommend each model to? Certainly, so it's, it's all down to the individual user. So what we found with the DC710, that's gone absolutely fantastic with the one-man band smaller companies because all of a sudden they've got at a very low cost besides the tough, robust analyzer, they've got all the information on screen that they can then share where they need to. They've got the accountability that you've mentioned and they can get that information out, uh, less paperwork, less hassle. They can still print a copy off if they want to. We do a Bluetooth printer for these units, but majority um, will just email the information out. Everyone's got a copy, they'll move on to the next one. But like I said, the the DC711 is, we, we suspect this is going to be bought more by your larger user, your housing associations, your large contractors. They're that used to having a screen and with the software that they're working on in their job management and their own accountability software, to them we feel it might just be easy that they have a, a screen that they can reference the readings and transfer to via writing down or by inputting in their own software the, the readings. So there's, there's, there's two different markets even though they they work in the same probably domestic marketplace. So they're both user friendly, it just depends on what you're used to. Absolutely, the DC710 as you see has got one button then you just follow the, the, you look at the app, it tells you to start and stop the pump yeah. and, and, and save, create a report, save it and send it. The DC711 does the same if you're using the app or if you want to use the unit with a screen, basically you've got an up and down and enter button and, and an escape to go back a level. And then instead of putting lots of buttons on there we've just made it f1 f2 f3 that correspond with f1 and f2 f3 at the bottom which will change depending on what program you're in so if it's in flue gas mode f2 will mean start and stop it but yeah. it could mean something else on another page so you just follow what information is down here to make it really easy and intuitive for the user and that's regardless of which country you're in isn't it we we've got multi-language on this so obviously other countries will have their own languages yeah, yeah. and <laughs> F1, F2, F3 will correspond with the buttons at the bottom. Uh, start, start, pass, fail will be relative to their language. Okay, so why should our viewers buy a TPI flue gas and a leather? TPI have been around for a number of years. We're a manufacturer of test and measurement equipment. We've got hundreds of products. With the flue gas analyzers, we offer um, tough, durable units, excellent warranty on them, um, ease of servicing, ease of getting the information, uh, uh, the units calibrated at, at, with ourselves or with it to, to the, yeah, the pass uh, calibration center. And they're just intuitive and easy to use. We, we, we know it's, it's, it's very much a product that has to be used. There's, there's legislation and legal requirements on using an analyzer and getting them calibrated. We're just trying to make it easy for everybody. We know it's down to personal choice, but toughness, robustness, reliability, ease of use. And now we're transferring information very simply to an app uh, at the touch of a button rather than with several button presses and using the power of a mobile phone. Um, that's where we see our, that's our markets, boy, our markets growing. Yeah. And they've got chemo have they got chemical sensors in? Yes. That, that, that's correct. We, we, we use the traditional chemical sensors like the, the majority of the, uh, the marketplace do. Um, realistic, in all the variation of the atmospheric conditions, different conditions on a rainy day, cold day, warm day, muggy day, um, they give overall better performance, mm -hmm. um, reliability, there's the, the sensors. The engineer doesn't have to worry about the sensors. They get replaced um, automatically uh, during calibration when they're due. Um, they just work and they're accurate. And are they available as part of kits? And, and if so, what's the difference between the kits? Because TPI has been around a while, a lot of people have been using TPI, so they might already have the bag and the uh, the flu probe, whether it's this straight version or we do bent probes for, um, for getting into awkward access areas uh, with borders being in cupboards these days. So we do everything from an upgrade kit where you'll just get the analyzer and a new USB charger to a kit with a bag and a new probe. Um, 
This unit's got a built-in manometer. The, the manometer on the DC-710 is a separate Bluetooth um, unit, so one of the kits includes that. And then we make it really flexible for the engineer that they can buy what they want. So instead of them selling a kit that's got lots of accessories in it that they've already got, they can just buy um, the parts that they needed. So if all they want is to upgrade to one of these units, but then buy a gas sniffer, they can do. Yeah. They're not penalised in having to buy a whole new kit with a new yeah. bag and a new probe if they don't need it. So they're compatible with like legacy accessories? The, the probe, the bag and all that are compatible with legacy units. The only thing that, that isn't compatible is the, the old printers for the legacy units were IR transfer. Okay. These units are Bluetooth transfer, so it's Bluetooth printers with these. They'll print your, your, your receipt ticket off as quick as you're spending money down the supermarket. Um, and so because they are compatible with all the other accessories, that adds to their value for money. Absolutely, yes. So we use an industry standard uh, K-type connector that goes into the bottom of the, uh, the analyzers, this, this little yellow plug. Um, on here so that means that any pipe clamps the flu probes are all compatible um, and like I said the engineer doesn't have to buy new equipment that they've already got just because it's in a kit they can, yeah. they can buy what they want and is there anything else you think we should know about these flu gas analyzers how much time have you got <laughs> as long as you want <laughs> It's, it, it's all down to the individual engineer, what they want. What we can say is the, the toughness, durability, with these units linking with an app, you've got your GPS tag positioned for proof and accountability. Um, we've been around for many years. We've got these units into one-man bands to large, large corporate customers, uh, along with all the other products we do. But the beauty of these is that the, the analyzer itself communicates to the app. Um, but it's just the raw information. So when we incorporate these to all the other products we do for that engineer, whether they're a domestic gas engineer, commercial gas engineer, they're into refrigeration or um, they're commercial catering, all those individual probes that we do don't link with this analyzer. They link with the app. So if you only need to use the probe, you don't need an analyzer to make a probe work. Um, so you can complete the whole portfolio of products for the job that you need because it's a little bit different to servicing installing a boiler to to doing in services to installing boilers but then doing uh, room CO checks or CO2 mm -hmm. checks in commercial properties in catering establishments or all the refrigeration products as well. So it sort of establishes longevity, flexibility, that sort of thing? Complete flexibility yes and especially because we update the app free. The app's free, we update it free. Um, any new products we bring out will automatically work with the uh, with the app. So the engineer hasn't got to worry; he's got to get multiple apps out. And then we put all the saving features onto the to the app. So there's there's links to boiler manuals. There's the great thing about that is if you walk into a job and the customer's lost the boiler manual, um, as they invariably they, they they do, you can use your the our app and go to a free boiler manual uh, website. But there's links to gas say gas rates. And, uh, and a number of other features on the app, again, which is all free. Could you give me an example of the type of reports you can create? Can you amalgamate data in order to create a number of reports? Yes, you can. So when you create the reports, on the TPI View app, you can create uh, just basic print offs or, or a basic report, but we've got landlord gas safety report, homeowner reports on there as well. And that information allows you to put all the industry standard information and then email that out to your, your customers, the letting agents, etc. But with all the probes we've got as well. Mm -hmm. So, for example, an engineer might go in and do a tightness test with a, uh, a manometer. He creates a report. He will then do um, a couple of um, uh, high fire and low fire reports on the flue gas analyzer. Might do a final tightness test. That can all be amalgamated into one single email going out. Mm -hmm. um, and because it goes out to your email folder to go out. Um, it's, you're, you can then add personal notes on there, you could add photographs on there. Um, an updated version of our software will allow you to add photographs and notes actually into the jobs as well as the reports. And, and because it's going out to your email folder on your mobile phone or tablet, what that means, if you are working somewhere that's with poor mobile signal uh, basement out in the countryside, it still goes through all the motions and does everything because your Bluetooth communication from the devices to the app, but then it will be held in your email outbox ready for as soon as you've got signal so and that, that could be immediately or that could be if you're in a per signal area it will still go mm -hmm. um, because it's it's 
going through your phone's natural process of getting an email out, so the information never gets lost. It's useful, like streamlining, efficiency, organisation, that's great. <laughs> okay, finally, please could you sum up each of the flue gas analyzers in three words? Simplicity, robustness, excellent value for money. Um, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. As ever, if you've missed anything, please leave your questions in the comments. Um, alternatively, feel free to contact a member of our sales team and all further information about the DC-710 and DC-711 flue gas analyzers can be found on our website at www.tester.co.uk.